King Tora Buru. What are you doing, Jobo? Are you going to join us today? Hmm? Are you going to join us today? Hey, Zordiac. So, so, how are you doing today? Who's all here? <laughs> what kind of stuff do you upload to your channel, Zordiac? It looks like my cats decided they were going to be a part of this. Move, mister. What's the matter with me? Oh, hey, NBA Love P. Oh, what kind of Yu Gi Oh do you do? <laughs> Say hi, Cheshire. I don't think they want to see you scratching. I'm just sharing the video and then I'm gonna open some stuff. Mr. Cheshire. Okay, Zordiac. Mm, Mr. Cheshire boy. Is he gonna be a part of this too? He says, I'm gonna be a star. Yeah. I'm gonna be a star. Yeah, my brother said he was going to be too tired today after working, so he's not going to be here. But, um, my cousin was going to come, but she wasn't really able to. She forgot. How rude. Hmm. Alright then. How you doing today, Heath? <laughs> All right. Hi, N Nina. I really like your um little avatar picture thing. Hey, Lily. Sorry that, hey Ryan, <laughs> sorry that there's a cat tail in there. <laughs> Mr. Boy. Alright, everybody get your, um, what do you call it, the uh, TCG uh, online redeemer thing open. Because I'm going to be doing some code giveaways today. And I'm also going to do custom packs today. Instead of the sealed boosters. And um, at the end, everybody that's been a part of it will get entered into 
a giveaway for a special pack, which is going to be, are you guys ready? Diamond and Peril Legends Awakened Sealed. I think you guys will really like that. A chance for some old school packs. So, has everybody got their stuff ready for some codes? All right, I'm going to give you guys a code, and I think this is for maybe black and white emerging powers. So that's what we'll kick this thing off with. 6NW8T4JAMWYXU. Again, 6NW8T4JAMWYXU. All right, so I am itching to open up the Zelda pack. I have waited too long, so let's start with that, and then you guys can choose the next thing that we open up back there. So let's get started with, oh, congrats, Ryan. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Collector's Fun Box. You know, they have a booster box for this as well, and I think I might eventually get one because it looks like something that I would just really enjoy. I love Zelda. Have you guys played any Zelda games? And if so, which ones? <sighs> Boy, this is hard. Shoptastic, yeah. <laughs> ah. You should definitely play some Zelda. It is so cool. The storylines are so unique, and it's an RPG type thing, so it's, let's see. So if you like RPG games, I think you would really like this. It's basically about a princess that Link, the little green looking dude, has to save for some reason quite often. <laughs> She must be a damsel in distress. Oh my gosh, this is really hard to get out. Well, now that is debatable because the new one that just came out, Breath of the Wild, it is so freaking awesome. I haven't actually played it, but it's the first time that they did an expansive um, exploration. I forgot what you call that. Um, like the expansive world exploration type thing. Where you can pretty much go anywhere. And it's so cool because what the stuff that I've seen, and here is this little uh, pin. See, this, that's the Triforce symbol. And that is seen quite frequently within the game. And this is Link's little shield. But, um, okay, Mr. Cheshire. The new one, you can go and fight like a ton of enemies at once so instead of just having like a couple of enemies pop up like a whole swarm could just pop up out of the water and they're you're in the middle of it attacking everything and if i'm not mistaken there's like some little um oh what are they called summon type things maybe but this one here represents the Twilight Princess. And the storyline in this one is supposed to be really good too. Because it's something about like the transformation. Like I think Link, something can, he can either transform into this or he has something that can transform into this. But with this, this is Zelda, which is the princess. And then that's Link and he's on his little horse. And then you've got, look at these monsters. I mean, imagine like walking on the streets and seeing that at night. I would just freak out. But um, the storylines are always unique. And it's a classic. It really is a classic. The Nintendo 64 versions are simply amazing. Um, ooh, look at our hollow. It is Midna. 
And that is from Twilight Princess. And you guys can kind of get a little idea about Midna here. I'm going to leave that there for a minute and you can kind of read. But like, it's so unique. They've got different ways that you can attack through, um, move your tail, boy. Um, you can attack with swords, with their little, um, oh crap, what's it called? Crossbow. You can grapple things. And it, it's kind of also like a platformer in a way. Because you have to find, or like a strategy type game. You have to figure out how to get from point A to point B. And a lot of it is also um, dungeons and trying to get through that. Ooh, Look at that. We've got our little Zelda symbol here. Um, I don't... I think this is just a sticker. But it's pretty cool. But the new Zelda is called Breath of the Wild. And um, I think it's really neat, personally. And then the, the one that a lot of people like on the 64 is the um, Ocarina of Time. This is Sherrick's Guidance, and I think that's a scene from the Nintendo 64 version. And I think Shriek, I actually kind of forgot what he was, but I know he's a really cool character. He's a really mysterious character, that's for sure. Oh, so this is kind of interesting. So a Shadow Link, that will be really cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> that is so creepy. I actually don't know where that's from. But um, there's also one, and this one would probably make you guys like throw your controllers across the room. <laughs> it's called Majora's Mask, and it's a timed game. But the whole point of it is to try to beat the game within the time limit. And you have like different masks that you can transform into and actually try to use them to beat the game. But it I don't know, it's crazy. And then the um, Ocarina of Time allows you to go back in time and just different things and try to, um, I guess, beat... I think his name is Gandanorf. But another, like, almost every single Zelda game that you pick up, I think you wouldn't go wrong unless you have a very <laughs> bad patience than the one that's timed. My, that's from Majora's Mask right there. Um... The timed one might give you some problems. <laughs> Ooh, that is an interesting looking character. Ravio. I actually don't know. But even the Wind Waker one, it's got beautiful artwork. I mean, the artwork is insane. I have never seen a... It was one of the first games of its time to use watercolor artwork as a, um, as a medium. Oh gosh, I can't get this open. But if you guys ever check it out, let me know. And actually, that is definitely a game that I want to do a playthrough of for you guys. Because I think you guys would really enjoy it. So, oh yeah, here you go. Temple of Time. That is definitely a Nintendo 64. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, what the heck is that? I've never seen one like this. Here is the Sword and Shield of Zelda. And then, oh, there's Princess Zelda. Just to kind of give you guys like a head up of what this is. Tingle. I don't even know what that is. And then a whip. <laughs> man whips and chains uh you you go i don't even know what the heck that is that looks like something you'd see in majora's mask but there's only two more packs of these so what do you guys want me to open up next there's the pokemon tops in the back the xy evolution packs what's remaining of the booster box there is Yu-Gi-Oh premium gold pack and then a custom booster box Okay. The potato. <laughs> Flip the potato. Deku mask. That's from Majora's. Whoa, look at that dude. He looks so creepy. Evolutions. Okay, we can do some evolutions. Oh my god, move. 
Highland Hylian shield. That's what that shield is. That's kind of cool. Ew, <laughs> he looks creepy. Daruma. Ooh, Wolf Link. I was right. So that's the Wolf Link dude. Looks so cool. And then we have uh I get oh, this is the I guess the first tattoos we've gotten. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. A hollow wolf link. If I had to choose one, that would definitely be one that I would want. That is actually really cool looking. Glossy gloss, glossy gloss. All right, last pack. And then we'll move on to XY Evolutions. Oh, man. These are kind of hard to open. Open the pack of sleeves. What do you mean? There's another tattoo. Link draws the master sword. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is definitely Ocarina of Time. Zora mask, that is probably Majora's mask. Groose, never seen it. Ooh, a fused shadow Twilight Princess for sure. Twin Rova, that's really cool. And then a non-hollow Midna. Not too shabby. I was actually really pleased with that wolf hollow. All right, go on, girl. Go on. Move, 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 move. Yeah, she listens very well, doesn't she? Move, girl. All right, XY Evolutions pack. We have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15 packs. Not too shabby. All right. Make this actually pretty quick. We've seen a Evolution's booster box before. Ideally, I would like to pull another Mega Charizard. Seems to be the one that is a little bit more difficult to get. Um. Nope, actually I have not gotten that yet. Here is a code for XY Evolutions. CQR X. ZMDR27QZ7. CQRXZMDR27QZ7. Let me know who gets it. Uh oh. It looks like we probably won't get anything. Do you guys remember these old, like, old school cars? Grats, Ryan. Ooh, a reverse hollow psychic energy. And then a regular rare bee drill. I should have seen that coming. I'm I will actually want to rewatch the um Oh the original Pokemon and the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Original Dragon Ball Z and Digimon. And um I think it would be very interesting to see, I don't know, just how things have changed. And I actually really like the old school stuff a lot better as far as, like, even the anime goes. Ooh, a secret rare flying Pikachu. That's rather cute. And then, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Verse Hitmonchan, which is a rare. And, wait a minute. Oh, okay, the Arcanon was the rare. I was really confused there for a minute. And I really like the TCG, mostly for, like, the artworks. I don't actually play the TCG, but it's not something that I would be against. It's just I don't really have anybody that here that would actually probably play me competitively. And I don't want to just go out there and randomly play somebody that I don't... That probably is ten times better than me. <laughs> and recently rewatched. Yeah, I I have to agree. Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon to me were 10 times better in the anime than um oh who was it? Than the Pokémon, for sure. But I do like the old school Pokémon cards for artworks and I really loved playing my favorite Pokémon game. Or well, 
one of them, was actually Pokemon Stadium for the uh, Nintendo 64. And I really like the, um, oh, a holographic Ninetales. I don't think I've pulled that either. I really like the, um, oh, Pokemon Colosseum and Shadow of the Colossus because they were more like RPG style. And I really, really wish that we could do, um, like, that Pokemon would release an RPG like that again. Because I really like RPGs where you can move around and actually, like, what's the word? See it in 3D. I think that makes it so much more fun. And, um... I mean, I like the games on the Game Boy and stuff, but to me, the ones on the GameCube and the Nintendo 64 were definitely better because you could actually go out and see, ooh, look at that, Pidgeot EX. You still got to pick your starter Pokemon, you still got to be just, you know, leveling up your Pokemon, going to different places, but there was a storyline where, um, that was actually kind of funny, <laughs> just to give you guys a heads up, if you have not seen Pokemon Coliseum, or, um, any of that type of thing, it is really hilarious, because one of the evil guys is an afro dude, <laughs> And he, and he, when he's talking, he sounds so freaking funny, and he just does, like, some dance moves and stuff. So it's just kind of like, what? <laughs> it is so great, though. I really do like it. And actually, that was one game, again, that I wanted to do a playthrough of. Right now, we've been doing Super Mario 64, and that's the one I'm doing with my brother. But I think I'm going to start my own so that whenever he can't be with me to record, I can still upload some uh, videos for you guys in the gaming part because I love games. Video games are so awesome. What kind of games do you guys play? Other than, you know, Pokemon or... Like, what's your favorite Pokemon game? What's your favorite, like, maybe console game? Series or whatever. I'm curious. Oh, boy. It's really bent up there. Uh-oh. What are we going to get today? Sun and Moon. You know that... I, th I don't... I don't even have Pokemon Sun and Moon, believe it or not. I think I have um, Omega Ruby. Reverse Rare Arcanine and... Ooh, a Hollow Zapdos. We've pulled that quite a bit um, in the Japanese base set booster box that we have. Oh, man. And one of them was a PSA 9 rating. So, not like the best, but not like the worst either. I've never played Pokemon Diamond either. Whoops. Oh, you know, I wanted to try that out because I think they have some that has like a, um, oh, I didn't even notice that. Whoops. Well, we still pulled it. But, um, I've always wanted to play Ninja Storm, too. They've got some of them that have a, um, storyline as well. Ooh, look at that! Machamp Break and a Mewtwo. Alright. I don't think I've pulled many breaks in the Evolution set, to be honest. And that looks pretty ferocious. Machamp. Boomerang Lariat 100. Very different. Mm, let's see. Ah, here's a code. I'm going to give you guys another code. TWCPYH2 
HXD-262. Again, TWC-PYH2-HXD-262. Oh, well, I think I do have some of the old Ninja Storms, to be honest. Like, for the PlayStation 2. Alright, good luck, guys. Let's see what else we got. Lectabuzz, Magikarp, Drowsy, Gratzly, Caterpie, Ghastly, Super Potion, Double Colorless Energy, Professor, a Magnemite, and a Far Fetched. Far Fetched. <laughs> I don't even remember how that Pokemon actually sounds. Verse. How old do you have to be to get a job? <laughs> um, I'm not really sure. Isn't it like 16? 17? Maybe it depends on what state you live in. Or country as well. Thank you. That's exactly what we wanted. Was a big putty cat in the middle of all this. You know, speaking of jobs, this is one thing I wish I could do uh, as a job. <laughs> It'd be so fun. Ooh, reverse rare Machamp and a Beedrill. Regular rare. There's a lot of cats visiting us today. This is Mew. Mew, say hi. And this one is King Torapudu. <laughs> He's so funny. He's mean, too. Used to when I was, uh, until I started spraying him, which I know sounds really bad. Um, he would come up to me <laughs> when I was not ready to wake up and poke my face because he, w he wanted food. He was hungry. Believe it or not, I have um, six. And honestly, I, I did not want that many cats, to be honest. But what happened was, unfortunately, my mom cat got pregnant. And I didn't want to separate them because they had been together for so long. And every time I tried to give away a cat, somebody kept telling me that, oh, well, I already got one now and I, I don't need it. Reverse fighting energy. And then something like... Uh, or something would happen just where they found a cat already before they would, like, even take mine. And then recently, I took in my cousin's cat. So, she'll end up taking it back. So, eventually, I'll be back down to five. But, they're a handful. She needed a place for him to stay, and I just hated for him. I can't give away cats. Ooh, secret rare flying Pikachu. <laughs> Selling cats. Selling cats. Radicate. I've never seen her sit that still before whenever I was opening packs. Normally she walks all over everything, which I'm surprised she hasn't done yet. Trouble was back there kind of walking on everything, but we'll see. Alright, let's see. A tadpole, swiggly thing, a ball that explodes. Rocks. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then we allow there to be great pools. Get up, cat. Move. Let's see if we can get anything delicious. <laughs> Reverse switch. Ooh, a Mega Pidgeot EX. You know, it seems like Pidgeots are pretty easy to pull in the XY series. Booster packs. And that shiny shine gloss gloss. We have three XY Evolution Packs to go. Then we have three more things in the back. Yu-Gi-Oh! Premium Gold. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, we also have Gandalf the Grey. One of my favorites, yo. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Whoa, whoops. 
<laughs> I can't count right. <laughs> Reverse rare and an Arcanine. You know, I remember when I first started collecting cards and I pulled just a regular Arcanine from a pack. Oh my gosh, it was so great. And then whenever we pulled like a Charizard or a uh, Venusaur or Blastoise, we were just, we were crazy. And my brother, I feel so bad for him because when he was younger, he didn't know really the rarity of cards. He traded a holographic Neo Revelations Lugia for some little crap card. And I was like, oh my gosh. And that card is actually a really hard card to get. And we have a reverse rare Gyarados. And I was just like, man, because I don't think he even realized it until after he did it. And I'm talking like, it may have even been like a non-holo. <laughs> Is it legal to shoot someone? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> With a water gun, yes. <laughs> oh, we might have last pack magic. Let's do this. Can we get it? There's a seal, a tadpole, a swiggly thing, a brock, a spray. A rock, dude. A mole. Oh! <laughs> Sick! Thank you. Thank you, Jesus and Gandalf. <laughs> well, we finally did that part. That is pretty sick. You know, that is the one card that we are trying to pull in the base set, Japanese base set booster box. We have gotten a Venusaur and a Blastoise. And then we have gotten uh, a, what was it? Yes, definitely. I'm working on that. Unfortunately, this one actually is not gradable. What a shame. And it's got like a really big line there in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. See that little line? That's crazy. But anyways, um, so we've pulled, a, I think, two Blastoises and two Venusaurs. Not from the booster box because I had some loose packs. What? What's a factory room? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I thought I saw something else. <laughs> I thought he was saying that he got three Charizards in one pack. And I was like, what? I was about to be like, holy crap. Now that is definitely something to uh, be proud about. <laughs> no, but uh, it would be... I don't know... I, if we pulled a Charizard, you guys should come up with something that I have to do where I physically have to record myself doing it as soon as we pull it. That would be so fun. Because I know I'm going to be freaking out anyways if we pull that. And if we grade it and it gets like super great, you know, writing, I'm going to flip out even more. Anyways, that's all of XY Evolutions, so let me see. Okay, let's go ahead and mix it up a little bit because this is the last thing that is not Pokemon related. And um, yeah, I can do a free code. Let's do another XY Evolutions code for VX WW70D <laughs> WLC H2N. 4VX WW7D WLC H2N 4VX WW7D WLC H2N and good luck to you guys and <laughs> you know what's funny about this code <laughs> if that 7 was a J <laughs> it would fit this theme <laughs> anyways I'm ready to open more packs mate we got Yu-Gi-Oh Premium Gold It is. Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Man, you know what, Zordiac? Did you see us open up the Legend of the Blue Eyes packs? I hope you did. Because I know that you like the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so we have three packs of premium gold. And actually, I was surprised because some of these cards are actually worth a decent amount, but they look so cool. The gold, like, there's something about these gold packs that everybody likes, and I don't, I don't, I mean, look at that. How could you say no to that? Look, you've got gold border. You've got sparkly letters, gold everywhere shining, and that is one ferocious like card it's i can barely even luster pendulum the dragon slayer that looks sick this is from premium gold if infinite gold packs and i want to do i actually want to try to do one of each like the first series all to the end that would be so cool oh my gosh look at that that is so cool this one is Cosmo Fan Farm Girl, not Fan Girl. <laughs> Actually, I think there's now like six or seven of them because they've come out with more. I know. I love this freaking cart. I just love all of them. They're so cool. And all of these are first edition as well. So I really, really think this is so cool. You mean you need the Cosmo Farm Girl? looks so really i mean f did i say farm girl or fan girl i don't know <laughs> this is so cool though okay so now we have cameratech Chim fortress dragon i really like this card this looks so cool i love purple and you've got purple in that dragon it looks so freaking cool the tech it's a fusion cyber dragon plus one more machine type monster Cannot be used as fusion material. Must first be special summoned by sending above cards from either field. Blah, blah, blah. The original attack of this card becomes 1,000 times the number of fusion materials used for its fusion summon. Man, so you could, like, get a bunch of low machine types, protect them, and you could get, like, some crazy attack points there. Oh, look at that junk changer that sounds so funny <laughs> i summon the junk changer <laughs> and uh, fence mode definitely still looks really cool the shine i wish we had cards similar to this in pokemon even that would be so cool a gold bordered card with like that sparkle stuff in the middle like old school galaxy you really really that is so cool I didn't expect to pull $15 worth. The, the Terminus of the Burning Abyss. Now, that looks actually really cool. That little earth dude and the little silhouette spirit. Oh, man. These are really epic. We're definitely getting gold. Whoops. There's a mess. Mew, you are being so patient. I'm so proud of you right now. <laughs> Gandalf the Grey. Jesus bless the pack. <laughs> Wait, what about me? Bless me. I want to go back on vacation. <laughs> I wish I was... You know, I did take like two vacation days, but I'm seriously wishing I could take more. The Sky Blaster. Musketeer. Castell. That is really cool looking too. I love how that gold border is even going around the boxes and stuff and around the little uh, stars. That is so cool. All right. Deep dark trap hole. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail in that. I don't know if you guys have seen the original dark hole, but we pulled a hollow trap hole recently in the uh, Legend of the Blue Eyes. And I'm that is looks so much better, and I just love the hollow of this. Not to mention that Geisha girl looks creepy as hell. <laughs> Number 106, Giant Hand. Yeah, that would creep me out. That even the hand in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean that comes out of the little thing and tries to attack uh, Elizabeth's father, that creeps me out too. 
Well, oh, whoops. It's a samurai, isn't it? I thought it was a geisha. Actually, it looks like a geisha, too. Maybe it's a geisha samurai in disguise. I don't know. That's really weird. That is really weird. Okay, and then King's Consonants. Oh, that looks really cool. When an opponent's a monster declares an attack, negate the attack. That's really cool. Then you can apply the rest of the card's effect. Banish one Turner monster and any number of non-Turner monsters. And I'm pretty sure I did not pay that for this box because I bought this box when it came out. And I still have probably, I think, two, either two or three more of these infinite gold boxes. And they are so, oh my god, I love this artwork. This one is Virgil Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. Look at that card. And I love the silver. Oh, man. That is sick. I really like this card. Synchro effect. Man. All right, last one. Let's see what we can do here. And then we have Pokemon Tops and the Custom Booster Box. Which one would you guys like to see next? I think I kind of ripped that. Ooh, look at this dragon. Red Ice Flare Metal Dragon. What the heck? Look at that. That is so freaking sick. I didn't even know that was a thing. Red Ice Flare Metal Dragon. Ah, that is so cool. Oh, man. It's going to be a hard decision to decide which one of these I want to keep and which ones I'd like to sell to make some extra cash. Man. Ice hand. Because some of this stuff I do want to sell so that I can get uh, some money back so we can buy more. Spell Shattering Arrow. Destroy as many face-up spell cards your opponent controls as possible, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each. All right. The... Man, I can't read that. The Phantom Knights of Shade Rene... Be... Begrandine. That doesn't make sense, but Grandine. But this one does have some, uh, I think you guys seen the lines right there. This one has some damage. Man, that's so cool. I wonder if I got, like, the red, the red, and I think I may do this if it's, oh, yeah, it's totally gradable. I think I'm going to grade that red eyes flare metal dragon. What's a meta card? Cagna, Malbrance of the Burning Abyss. That looks so sick. Um, I'm guessing I spent about 60 maybe less. But I already opened a couple of these. And I have some that are in the gr um, graded pile. Do you think people would buy these graded? Because I... Golly, that Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon would be so cool. Uh-oh. Never mind. It's got a... It's got a line. A factory error. And now it's got a nick. Great. You know, for some reason, some of these even have factory lines. Yeah, I probably will post some of these because I post Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I, I post Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, custom packs online all the time. And um, I'm actually really excited to do that. And I also have some ideas for future... Um, Oh, future videos and future product, which I think some of you guys may like. I'm not sure. All right, tops it is, and then we'll finish it up with the custom. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy that custom box. I hope we can make it to it because we have a bunch of tops. So maybe, I got an idea. You guys had it pretty much tied. We're going to do both of these and we're going to alternate so we can switch it up. Because there's about, I think, 20 packs in this. And I bet there's probably like, I don't know, 30 packs in this one. 
And I think that will be a very awesome idea for us. And also on the hour, instead of doing a custom booster box, I mean, pff, booster pack this time, I'm going to do something else, but I'm going to surprise you guys. And then we'll have to do the, the number game. Woohoo! Okay, so before we start, the custom booster box came from a guy known as uh, Hammerstone. There we go. Whoa. Hammerstone526, and he still sells things on eBay. And sometimes he gets, he does like random lots, sometimes he doesn't. He It's just based on what inventory he has. I think he like buys and resells or something, or opens packs and stuff. And, but anyways, what was cool about this custom booster box is he did what I've never seen many people do. And he gave us a box topper, which I thought was really cool. And he says, happy holidays. Hope you enjoy your 20 packs and the Gengar booster, I mean box topper, Hammerstone 526. So we have... Um, a rare Gengar, but it it's not hollow. Did they have non-hollow Gengars in Breakthrough? Because I don't remember that. Because that is some sick artwork. Wow. I don't know. Regardless, cool. And let's see. Sorry, I've got to do some pack maintenance. Or stack maintenance. All right, so let's see here. All right, tops pack number one. And I can't remember, but it seems like our hollow, I think, was in the front. Not sure. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh, look at that. We got Jesse. <laughs> Do you guys remember, um, whoops, I just spoiled, and a Charmillion. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this apart. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Charmillion. Jesse. Oh, look at this. It's a puzzle piece. Now, I've seen this a lot in the tops. So that is really cool. It's going to go in its own little pile. But yes, we have a Charmillion. And if I remember correctly, we were trying to pull a Charizard and... Charmillion last time because Rebecca was going crazy. Alright, so we've got a Pidgey. Uh-oh, I filled the hollow. I filled the hollow. And it is. Oh, Ratatata. <laughs> Look at that. I just love these. Oh my gosh. And there's a ser the cool thing about tops is there's quite a bit of these. And I, I want to continue to open these. They're just, to me, they're just as fun. And then we have Poliwag. Zubat. Ooh, and another puzzle. No, wait. That might be a checklist. Or just, like, the puzzle that you're trying to make. And I think that's going to be the case. Oh, yeah. Checklist and the puzzle that you're trying to make. And then, finished off by Caterpie. But they also have a series called the Chrome series. Now, that is one that I really want to do, too. I'm going to go ahead and open one more of these. And then I'm going to open one of our custom booster box packs. But, um, I really love the chromes because they also have a similar thing as far as the hollows go, but I think they're more like chrome hollow. So, that is pretty neat, in my opinion. And, um, we also have series two and three of the original TV animation. And then they even go as far as to go to the um, Johto series, which I've only seen a series three online. So I'm betting that, uh, oh, look, a hollow Misty. Look at that. But I'm pretty sure that it is really hard to find a Johto series one and series two booster box, but I seriously want to open that as well. And the Chrome series and whatever I can get my hands on. Ooh, it's a Bulbasaur! Woo! We need to add that to the Bulbasaur tin thing. 
Nitto Queen. <gasps> Dingle dee, dingle dee, trio, trio, trio. Do y'all remember that, <laughs> that episode? <gasps> Whoops. Sorry. All right, let's pull out. I'm gonna need you, Shoptastic. Oh no, I've lost him. Damn it, he went on vacation anyway. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, how are we gonna do this? Get to work. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can do it. I guess I'll have to, all right. These are all envelopes, which is actually pretty neat. So I don't really know. Oh my gosh, he sealed them too. Just as if you were opening a booster pack. That is really interesting. It's a really cool idea, actually, if you didn't have any other way to seal and you wanted to do a custom booster box. All right, I don't know what the order of this stuff is. Um, oh my gosh, he sealed every single one. I think there is no pack trick, and I think it is what it is, which is crazy. Okay, so these are old school cards, totally. This is a Krabby from EX Crystal Guardians. Look at that ferocious face. Oh my gosh, that is Anorith. Does anybody recognize this symbol? What is that from? Is that Delta Species or something, or... Oh my gosh, I've never seen it look like that. I love that artwork. Seal. Um, man, I don't know that symbol either. Does anybody know this one? Oh man, that sucks. Metacham. Look at that artwork. That looks so sick. And I don't know what that symbol is either. Man. Ooh, that low tad looks so cool. Don't know that symbol either. Well, maybe one day we'll learn it whenever we start opening up more packs. Right now, we've pretty much got the base set down. <laughs> and I don't know if it's even... <laughs> Ooh, a Venonat from Jungle. Now, that is neat, too. Master Ball. And I don't know what that symbol is, either. <gasps> Ooh, a Team Rocket's Full Hill Energy. And then a regular rare... Mr. Mime from Jungle. This pack was really cool. Man. And our sleeve. Whoa, look at those sleeves that he gave us. Moltres, Zapdos, Articuna. Man. I got these from eBay from a seller, Hammerstone uh, 526. Hammerstone... Five two six. They were kind of pricey, but at the same time, for what you were getting, it's totally worth it. And I can't remember how much I paid, but they weren't overly pricey. It was just, yeah, I can find his eBay store and leave it. But it'll have to be after the stream right now. Um, I'm gonna do some editing on the stream when I get done, anyways. So. Let's see, we've got a Pidgey and a Pikachu. Pika! That's actually a cute little artwork thing, like a puzzle type thing there going on. Some electric energy. And then a hollow Shand Sh Shandshrew. <laughs> Say that fast. Shandshrew, Shandshrew, <laughs> Sandshrew. But I really do love the way that these hollows are you know i don't even know what series like how series two is exactly but uh this is still pretty neat now i think we have more um of these tops than we do the other one so move your booty all right Wigglytuff. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember that too? Wiggly, jiggly pop. Look at her face. She's like, oh my god, what are you doing? All right, so we're going to grab another one here from our custom booster, custom booster box thing. 
And just so you guys know, I'm going to try to do another live stream around Christmas or around, um, I'm going to go ahead and open another one of these. I know I said the other one, but I just pulled it out. Um, I'm going to do another live stream around Christmas or my brother's birthday, whatever I can do to save up money. Because honestly, right now, I'm kind of financially struggling just a little bit, maybe by a lot. Well, but we'll make it <laughs> and I'm working on finding ways to make extra money and some of that is because I'm kind of struggling myself a little bit but we'll talk about that another day we um, have some things saved up but I was just gonna say that if anybody wants to like contribute some random packs or something there's a uh, link in the description below to uh, P.O. Box and then also I do list items bi-weekly on my eBay store when I can. Look at those. Those are so cool. But anyways, back to this awesomeness. We have to see what's in the old school booster packs. Oh man. Zordiac, are you still here? Let me see. Eh, that can go. Do we still have... Ooh, look, he switched up the sleeves. Now we have, like, a, a Sharpedo electric cacturn and Torkoal. We have a Pupitar, again, from that series that I have no idea what it is. A Mankey. Wow, that artwork is so cool. We have a Vulpix base set. Nice. Ooh, a Cleffa. Man, I wish I knew what that symbol was. I don't even know what that symbol is either. A Gloom from a series I don't know either. <laughs> this is very helpful. Look at that. It's got like all these poison um, balls, that poison powder attack. They actually drew it on the card. That is so beautiful. I love that. Ooh, Claymation Sea Dot. Again, from a set that I don't know. Vigorith. Again, I don't know. Double full heel. A cloister, which looks really cool. That's a, f it's a fighting type. Ooh. Oh, look at that. The hollow is the Pokemon. Okay, well, we just found out what this symbol here is. I'm pretty sure that this symbol is probably EX Dragon. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. Look at that hollow. It's the centerpiece. You know, like, you know they're coming out now with those hollows that the Pokemon is textured and hollowed. This is similar, but it doesn't have the texture. That is so cool. Salamence, hollow. Pretty sh I don't know if it's a hollow or if it's the reverse hollow. So, but still, this is a really sick card. Man. All right, another tops. But um, eventually, I do want to try to open up like one of everything. I know I'm crazy, but it just sounds fun. Nidorino. Venonat. That is some sick art, too. Very topsy turvy. And a Persian. <laughs> Give me my chocolate now! Ah, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Mew is sitting there like, what are you doing to me? Really? I believe this is a hollow Ekans for us. But we're going to go this way because I'm having problems with these cards. Don't play with Sharp Tastic, that's not safe. Oh, wow, look at that. Caterpie Metabot. Ekans. Ekans. I don't remember how that exactly, but man, that's a really cool hollow, too. Open up one more here. And then I think after this, I'm just going to start alternating because I think it's pretty close now to being even. Hopefully. Ooh, there's our Raichu. To go with our Pika. And then we've got Beedrill. The card that we pulled. Ooh! Charizard. There you go, Becca. 
So now we've pulled the Charmander, Charizard, and uh, Charmeleon. Look at that. Look at that circularness. It's a bunch of stones and rocks. Man, that is so cool. For the Geode. Whoa. Oh, man, I forgot to show off the Charizard. I know we like the Charizard. Whoa. There's another Volt Pix. Jabak. I remember that. Then we have an Ivysaur. And then we have Geodude as a, whoops, my bad, with a puzzle piece on the back. So that's pretty neat. All right, back to the old school. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to show him. He, he wanted to see us open these. So I'm going to send this to him too look at that i love that magnemite oh okay i'll do that after this pack manky jungle look at that super sick falcon kick <laughs> Ooh, look at that claymation of don fan i really like this you know i used to hate claymations but i actually really appreciate them now send a quill and like the um that's a new set symbol. And the, um, oh, what are those things called? Man. Oh, yeah, the yarn looking cards and stuff. I like them. And the artworks in Sun and Moon have, to me, feel like they are more from the old school direction than what XY was. Ooh, base set bill. Ooh, a hollow cradley. From a different series. And again, the Pokemon is what's hollow. So I don't know if this is a reverse hollow. Or if this really is the hollow. But it is a different set symbol there. And maybe eventually we will get to that set too. It would be amazing. Alright. Another Tops. Alright, so we have Graveler starting it off. James. Y'all remember that car uh, that song? I don't know if you guys had the Pokemon CD or not, but there was a song and it was like, Team Rocket's rockin'. <laughs> rockin' trouble, double trouble. It was so funny. And then you'll hear them and be like, we're gonna capture Pikachu. And that was like Jesse or something. I don't know. It was crazy though. Look at that holographic polyrath. That is so sick. We got some blue going on there for the water. Then we've got Gary Oak. Might actually pull a couple of those puzzle sets. Kadabra. And gold back because we have some doubles for sure. I guess the main reason you would open up more of these is for the hollows, which look freaking sick. All right, so another old school pack. Oh, wait, no, number game. That's all right. You just told me that too. All right, um, let's see. Let's do a number between 1 and 50. Wait a minute. Start. 1 and 50. And you all get one guess. Is the other person going to enter, or is that it? I'm going to give them 30 seconds.
All right. Winner is Lily Lung. My number was 26. So, grats. You'll get an additional custom booster pack. Wee. All right. Back to our custom booster pack. We have a, a tello, te, tello, almost said swallow. Ooh, look at that Nidoran. It's like, I don't know what this artwork is, but man, that is so cool. It's so bright and vibrant. And then this one's so like majestic. Ooh, Sneasel, look at that. And again, an, a symbol set that I just don't know. <gasps> no way, look at that. Unknown L from Neo Destiny. That is sick. Slow poke, probably from EX Dragon, maybe. I'm now I'm a little not sure because there's more of those that have like the Pokemon that's hollow. <gasps> Whoa, look at that Poliwhirl. He's like, stop in the name of love. <laughs> Mew, you're so funny. Pokeball. That's a really sick looking Pokeball. Ooh, look! Reverse EX Holon Phantoms card. That is sick. So, oh, look, we found a symbol. So, this symbol right here is EX Holon Phantoms. So, now we can remember that, hopefully. A little try, uh, try looking thing. <gasps> no way! Arcanine! Dang! I'm pretty sure that this is EX Sandstorm. Because I'm pretty sure that this was the style of the cards up until a certain point on EX. Oh my gosh, I love these cards. Oh man, thank you so much. Um, Hammerstone. Dang. Golly. I don't know if I can take it. It's so much. And we haven't even went through half of that. Watch me have to do like a fourth part just for this final part. <laughs> I don't know. Golly. Well, if I have a heart attack, at least call 911. <laughs> and it king. And now we switch a roo to a spear roo. A rat. A cha 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 cha. Nidorina and uh oh oh look Nidoqueen. Queen there was a lot of Nidos in this pack there was a uh, a Nido King a Nidorina and a Nido Queen and a Hollow Diglett yeah Diglett D Diglett D trio 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 <laughs> you just don't care what I do do you? You're so sweet, Mew Mew. I guess you're actually the cat that should be up here anyways. I named her Mew after my favorite Pokemon. She was the first cat when she was younger. Oh no, here comes trouble. Uh, she was the first cat to get in my lap and she, um, she's trying. <laughs> she's definitely trying. But she was also the first cat to um, climb up my legs, <laughs> like my pant legs, to try to sit on me while I was getting ready. And this was when I was in my apartment, which now I'm in like a better, I guess, apartment type setup. But anyways, this is EX Sapphire and Ruby, I'm pretty sure. And that's Aeron. And see, it's still got that like E series. Ooh, Gym Heroes, Brock's Geodude. The other cat's over here in the chair. I thought he was going to get up here, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't. Don't knock things over, boy. And then we got Coughing, which is a rocket. Team Rockets. I love the Team Rocket set for the old sets, too. Oh, look. There's our symbol. So, EX Holland Phantoms Claydol. Then we have a Haunter from an unknown set. Quick Ball. Super Scoop Up. Ooh! 
Oh my god, this is also another one of my favorite EX sets. It's just, oh gosh, pretty much anything before XY is a favorite. I might as well just say they're all my favorite sets because they are. And then afterwards, Sun and Moon. So, I mean, the only series that I really haven't, don't really, really like is the XY series too much. And actually, the base, Fossil and Jungle, I like the hollows and some of the artwork, but some of them I don't like as much as I do the later series, the Neo series, the E series, the EX, Diamond and Pearl. Um, black and white was okay with the white, but look at that. The hollow is energies in the background for EX Team Rockets, and that is the set symbol. Which I've opened a sealed pack of this before. And we pulled a Team Rocket Scizor EX. And I wanted to flip a table. Man, look at that. Dawn Fan Rare from EX um, Ruby and Sapphire. Now this does have some really noticeable um, dirt and grime. But still, nice. And I really like these sleeves he sent too. Oh yeah, the MTV Awards is tomorrow. Music Awards. Gold Duck. Do you guys watch any of the re the reward TV shows? Paris. Clefairy. Oh, come on. Really? Really? <laughs> you guys are really making me really confused here. With this way that this stuff is set up and then I keep forgetting to flip the cards. Ooh, look, you guys can see Venusaur. Man, look at that. In this one episode, we've pulled a Venusaur, Blastoise, and a Charizard. And then we have coughing and wheezing shots from the, the screen. And look at that. A hollow Fero. All right, another old school pack, yo. Man. Um, eh, that's gonna go back there. Okay, Life Herb. Man, I didn't even know that was a thing. Dusk Ball. Wismer, that is so cute. Honestly, I feel... Oh, look, that's Remy. It's Crystal Guardians. I feel like this would be the perfect childhood plush toy. Because it's so cute, but it's so, in, like, different. Then we have an Unknown C. Oh, my gosh. Yes! A whooper from Neo Discovery. A little bit of a blemish there, but not too bad. I love Neos. Ah! And then a Lilip. Don't know that set symbol either. EX Sapphire Ruby Nummel. And oh, Claymation Vulpix. Sick artwork. And then a, um, a Float Soul Rare. We got two. <gasps> Whoa! No way! A Torterra Level X. This is a promo version, but still... That is sick because these tins are becoming more and more hard to find. And these tins are really what I want to open too. I love, oh, just wow. Man, that is, whew. We might have to call the ambulance for all, uh, Ryan too. <laughs> or Jesus. Jesus, help us. What are we going to do? Sardamon, Jesus, and Gandalf the Grey, Machamp, and then we've got Persian. <laughs> Vinanat. Ooh, Hollow Metapod. Super duper awesome.
Tentacool. Bell Sprout. <laughs> There's your Venusaur. Man. Boy, these cards are really hard to get apart. But boy, are they in good condition. Um, I had... If you guys remember those first movie cards and the hollows that I got from that were totally just horrible. And these here are very clean cut and in extremely good condition in my opinion. Oh man. Alright. So we have another one of these. Whoa! Imagine seeing that in the middle of the road somewhere. Oh, that's a Team Rocket Returns card, too. That grimer looks very creepy. Like, ooh. Ah. So we've got a horsey and a star you. Erica's Bell Sprout from Jim Heroes. Um, another Sandstorm card. Anarith. Ooh, an electric type Pidgey. Oh, that's from the EX um, Delta uh, Holon Phantoms. <laughs> Call the ambulance. I'm losing it. I'm not even English anymore. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, help us all. Memory Berry from Crystal Guardians. Ooh, look at that sick noctile. Oh no, it's another slick. <gasps> Whoa, dark octillery. Um, oh, um, EX Team Rocket Returns. This is a reverse hollow, but still, that is super sick. Looks like he's sleeving the really, really good ones and the legendary birds and then the somewhat good ones and those. Holy crap. I am really pleased with this card, to be honest. Man. And a matter of fact, I may actually already have this card. I cannot remember because I opened up that pack. And I'm beginning to think maybe I did. Whew. Okay. You know, I could also, in some of these streams, open up some of the old boxes that I have that I haven't been able to show you guys yet as part of the pack or box or whatever, occasionally. Man, this is really hard. Oh man, look at that, another Chabazad. Because I actually have a big backup of cards. Ooh, a Nidorino. I mean, backup of boxes. Why don't I, well, I mean, like, I have backup of cards, too. But that's just because I'm slow at uploading, unfortunately. Because other things affect me that I wish did not affect me. Do -do -do -do. And then another Geodude. And a Misty. Do -do -do -do. Oh, look, it's a different background on this one. That's interesting. I hear my dogs barking. Whoops. All right. Whew. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys are going to hate this. I'm at 20% battery. I thought this would be the last part, and I don't think it's going to be. But luckily, for the final part, we've got amazing old school cards and tops. So it's not like it's going to be... A, it's going to be worth the wait, even if we have to wait. I think. Gust of Wind from Base Set 2. Dual Ball from Crystal Guardians. Nuzleaf. Slugma. Look at that. <laughs> it looks so derpy. <laughs> Matang. Stunky. The Stinky. A Palm. You know, I think this might be Diamond and Pearl. Oh, no, I did not see that yet, but I will look at it. And we have a Machop. Whoa! A reverse hollow Aeron from EX Crystal Guardians. Yay! Woohoo! And then a Hypno Rare. So sick. Now 
No, the tops pack. So we're at 20%. So whenever it gives me the 10%, that pack will be the last one I do. But you guys have been awesome, and thank you so much for joining me today. As I was actually feeling pretty bad, and because of you guys, I actually feel pretty good right now. You know, I don't know, but I think part of him was just trying to um, get rid of his collection, but also provide to somebody who is just trying, uh, I guess, trying to help me in a way. That's how I felt about it. Dang, my cousin's not here and we have pulled three Charizards. Or four. I lost count. Because you can't forget the hollow Charizard we pulled earlier either. Oh, another Bulbasaur. Yeah, that too. I mean, that could be a possibility. I mean, I'm definitely not, you know, pushing that out. But I think he wanted to make some extra money too. Oh, look at that. That's such a cute little Diglett face. Ooh, a Doug Trio. Our bot Kahlo. All right. And besides, um, all the old cards, especially since some of these do have some not bad damage but just minor damage and they're not mint i don't think these like they're worth money but i don't know like how much money Ooh, that is sick look at that you've got the heart, dark crown doom up front and then this one in the back with the shadow and the moon oh my god i love this card and this is from one of my favorite sets too man totodile and Oh, that's execute that now this symbol is yes that's the legend diamond and pearl legend awakens that's definitely that and then that is ex holland masquerade that is sick crystal guardian spiro some kind of skarmory and that lightning is so like like just it's electrifying <laughs> then we have a um team aqua's carvana from magma team magma versus team aqua no flipping way a reverse hollow extra expedition from uh oh crap yeah expedition duh that's weird mine's playing it's not freezing are you guys still there Are we losing you? Ah. We're not going to last too much longer anyway. You should be able to re-see it. Uh, All right. Mr. Pidgey. Oh, that's a cute Pikachu. Cliff Fable. Ooh, now that's different. You've got the hollow pattern here, and then the background's textured for Ekans and Arbok. That's actually really cool looking, too. Oh, and it's a puzzle piece. So. Bet that's worth some money. I never thought of that. Trying to complete a puzzle piece that is um rare cards that would be interesting i mean like hollow cards not just rares then we've got these in the end now it's time for another whoops custom booster pack 
You know, I think another reason why he did this is I was actually originally going to do something with this stuff at Christmas, but something happened where I could not. So I ended up saving these so that I could do it now. Well, later, not necessarily the reason I was doing it right now, but I just did it because it was my birthday and it sounded fun and you guys like really old school cards like me. Energy recycle system. Trappage. Execute jungle. Crystal guardian gulpin. That is actually really neat artwork. Base set magnemite. Ooh, I love that fire. Look at the detail in that. It's so different than some of the other ones you see. Ooh, a fire kingler from crystals. Man, Crystal Guardian. Rocks. And then a reverse slacking. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, wait. This one is sleeve too. So, yeah, because it's a rare. And that's really sick. These are our two cards here. And I lo this one, I don't know. I think it's from a Diamond and Pearl set as well. But, man, I really love that Kingler. It's got that little gem, too. So we have a vile plume. A manky. A golem. And a puzzle card, which is a Professor Oak. I don't know if we pulled that yet or not. And then a Pikachu, which that's interesting. A Tentacool. And a Bell Sprout. Ooh, a Hollow Arcanine. Yes, look at that. That's really sick looking. Got this kind of like that sparkly type feel that you see in animes and stuff. Man, that's actually a really cool card. All right, I'm gonna go again for an old school pack. I may see if he will sell some more. If he, I don't know if he has any or not for our next opening. If you, since you guys like this so much, and I don't mind helping him out a little bit because he's always been really nice to me. But since you guys like the old school cards, and so do I, maybe he would have some kind of deal that he can give me again with some old school cards like this. These artworks are just killing me. <laughs> He'll be like, sorry, cannot do. I don't want to be the cause for a death or hospitalization. <laughs> My cargo whooper from Team Rocket Returns to Ravia. Ooh, that is such a cute Charmander. That one's from uh, Crystal Guardians. Man, that was so sick. Buffer piece. Ooh, look at that. That is an EX Deoxys reverse. And that is Corefish. Oh, hey, look, we learned another set symbol. All those set symbols that had the star in the little triangle, that's EX Deoxys. So now we can kind of figure that out, at least. And then we've got Torkoal. Well, the cool thing about these are is you get so much, and then also you're oh, you're getting a wide variety of pack like stuff in the packs. It's not like I've ordered stuff like this before, and then you get a lot of like I don't know how to explain it. Just they they don't range all over the place like Expedition and uh, Aquapolis or you know things of that nature. It always seems to kind of generally be similar. In aspect and unfortunately guys we just hit 10% so we will have to pick this back up here next time sorry ooh look at that Pikachu fierce as ever and then we have Nidoran oh cool we got both Nidorans actually Nine Tails and Oddish. 
So thank you guys so much for sticking with me, for enjoying the pack openings. I'm going to um, give you guys a couple codes before I leave. And the next stream will probably not be this coming weekend, but the next weekend, because this coming weekend I work and I don't get off until 7, and then I have to wake up really early Sunday. So unless something happens where that changes, um, which it probably won't, and then um, the next weekend I'm off again. So I, I generally, you guys told me that you like Saturday and a little bit later, just sometime late. So I'm thinking anywhere between uh, 7 to 9 uh, p.m. Central. Yeah, we can do another one. I'm going to give you guys one more code after this. This one's PPQKKXNLMNHQW. PPQKKXNLMNHQW. <sighs> All right, another one, CZJ9NHNGXP264. 6ZJ9NH9GXP264. CZJ9NH9GXP264. All right, let me think for a minute. All right. We're going to do something a little bit different. Um, this is going to be a timed answer. And the main thing is just pay attention to the question. Wait till I say to go. And then whenever I say go, then you can, you know, type it out or whatever. But I'm curious because I didn't count it. I want to know how I want... I want you to guess how many Charizards that we pulled today between the tops and whatever else we had. And it's going to be the person who answers the right answer first. So whenever I say go, then you can answer it. So um, actually, I'm going to put a little line too. Whoa. So... Um, Just a minute, I'm counting it. <laughs> Okay, nobody has has guessed the right answer yet. 
so it's still available and um Nina it's to guess the amount of Charizards that we pulled today from everything and the first person to guess it right uh gets a customized booster pack Yep, no one's getting it yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ryan, you win. <laughs> Three Charizards from Tops and a Hollow from our XY Evolutions. Look at that beauty. So, grats. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Nina, our next um, live stream is not going to be this weekend, but the following weekend. Because I didn't get to open everything like I thought. And we're already at 10% battery. So, um, we'll finish up the last two booster boxes and be done for this little series and then wait for our next one and collect for Christmas or Brandon's birthday which isn't too far after that but um, I thank you guys for joining in and watching and grats to the winners and I'll try to ship off some of this stuff after the final live stream and I'll check out your trade message Ryan and I don't know if Zordiac is still here or not but if he is um, he said something about needing one of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so I would be willing to trade that, too. But you guys have a great weekend. Happy treasure hunting for yourself. And if you guys get anything, I, let, let us know, like, what you guys have been pulling lately. And, um, stay tuned for the next video. I'm thinking I'm gonna have some more box videos go up here soon. And then, um... Probably some gaming and TCG related things whenever I can get to it. See ya. Bye. Man, 5 a.m. is a very big difference. <laughs>